are no tape. We have like five. You have got to be kidding me. Hello, it's Carrie at Inkco Revival. Welcome back. Today we're diving into some Christmas cards. We're going to be using some alternative materials and an alternative use of your coordinating dies. Let's get making. I'm starting off these cards with the backgrounds. I'm using the Concord and Ninth plaid background stamp, which is one of my all-time favorite stamps. It's pretty much a must-have for Christmas. I'm using inks that are close in tone to the papers because I want it to just be a slight tone-on-tone -tone background. Color choices here are pretty basic. I'm doing craft and red with some gold accents. Sometimes the classics are the very best though, right? Here's the stamp sets I'll be using little bits and pieces of to stamp my sentiment panels. I've cut out some Lawn Fawn outside in stitched rectangles from the same two colors of paper. And I am now stamping with Versamark ink and heat embossing with Simon Says Stamp Ultra Fine Gold embossing powder. I love the stamps, the sentiment stamps in this Concord and Ninth O Christmas tree set. Handwriting is so fun and they're sized just right for tags. I am a Christmas tag fanatic. In fact, I really don't make Christmas cards much. Just piles and piles of tags. Modifying my reindeer wishes sentiment by using some larger letters from Lawn Fawn's Violet's ABCs for wishes. Another way to somewhat modify your supplies is by using coordinating dies without the matching stamp. You can get more use, different use out of them this way. I'm going to be using these antlers and holly leaves. Oh, and we need some of these unicorn eyeballs from the Alexandra Brinke face supplies dies. And tape, <laughs> the infamous tape. Although this glitter washi tape and the cherry wood tape, they never go missing. But that's just because my kids don't know where I keep them. We have some major tape thievery in our house. <laughs> Do you have something that always goes missing? <laughs> Tell me in the comments below. Maybe it's not tape, but I'm sure it's a funny story. So if you didn't notice, tape is the alternative material I wanted to recommend to use when you die cut. You know you're a crafter if you hoard washi tape. Although I personally don't use mine very often. So this is a good way to get more supplies. Check out your stash. What do you have sitting around that you don't use very often? And think about how you can use it. Even something as strange as die cutting your shapes out of tape, it works. The backgrounds were looking a bit plain. So what does this call for? More tape. With these sentiment panels being the focal point of the card, yet they're kind of subdued being the same color as the card, I'm popping them up with foam tape to emphasize them a bit more. A red rhinestone nose and unicorn eyes makes the perfect reindeer. Everything is a unicorn these days, right? There's unikitty, unipanda, there's even unisloths. What's next? No unicorns on the holly card though. In fact, 
It's a pretty simple card. I set out to make a complex card. I always tend towards clean and simple cards just naturally. And I thought, oh, I can make all these leaves into something real layered and elaborate. And you know what? It ended up pretty much as clean and simple as ever. Nope, you're not crazy. This third card never existed until now. My camera died, so I made another variation while I was waiting. Just finishing up by attaching these card fronts to some heavyweight cardstock bases. And I've ended up with a nice coordinating set here and made good use of some of my hidden away supplies. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're inspired to use some of your supplies even more creatively. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe below so you know when a new video is out each Monday morning. Happy Christmas card making!